I speak three. Uh, I speak English, French, and Arabic pretty well. And then uh, just by virtue of this job, I've learned <laughs> quite a bit of Spanish. Even this trip here in Montreal, my French has been very helpful. <laughs> you know, you come to Canada and we're only here for three days. About a month or a month and a half in advance, there's three or four players that need a Canadian visa, so we go and do that process just so that they can come and play here. And that's because they don't, have a, they don't come from a nation who gets a visa waiver to be able to just fill out a form and be done. I think one of the coolest part of, parts of this job is you meet people from all parts of the United States and all over the world. And you get to see different cultures, different ideologies, and, and, and people come with families, people don't come with families, so it just adds a different wrinkle every single time. And I think that's honestly one of the coolest parts of this job because it just opens you up to so many different things that you may not have experienced in the past. Imagine you take a pen like this. Oh! Oh! It went over the wall. And hey, Nadim, call it a day. You haven't conceded. Call it a day. Oh, Roxy. Catch me now, bro. Oh! That's so Henry, that, oh my God. Yes. What college did he go to? Stanford? Oh my God. It's a yoga. <laughs> no pressure, beast. After that, if you do something, we're done. It's Donnie's birthday, I forgot. Oh. I don't know. Come on, Donnie, just sprint. Ah, they got him in the ear, TK said no water. <laughs> Jake, like, come on, we can't get 20. Hey. Never that, bro. <laughs> 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 Come on, Jake. 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 Come on, Oh, I'm orange. Talk to me. What do we have to do to get the ball? Ah, it's a good ball. First, defensively, we have at least, what was it? A hundred? About a hundred corner kicks against? Yeah, about a hundred. And two goals, all right? So, the attitudes have been good, all right? But just little tiny things that we talked about, details. No, I said, what are we going to do last tomorrow? I mean, we have to win the game, bro. Me and you, simple. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I mean. If their rates are that wide, when they lose the ball, there's yeah, a massive gap for us to play that's directly huge. forward. That's where yeah. they get exposed huge. all the time. But he ain't big, is he? Yeah. Rudy ain't big. Huh? He ain't alto though. It's like size-wise, no, yeah. Andrew, how are you doing? You can make some saves? Oh, friendly. Shut your mouth. Yeah, shut your mouth. That's good. Okay. Good. <laughs> Last round, Andrew. And we thank you so much for your hard work. Uh -huh. C. C. Hey, Andrew, that's, that's a joke, bro. You're sick. I need bro. one, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey, get out of my space, bro. Out, 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 Sam. Out. Out. Why are you guessing? That's a quick on it.
Marcel, winners of three in a row, five of the last seven. Jefferson Savarino with a dramatic goal to turn one point into three. The arrow is up, Dunny, but now life gets a lot tougher having to go to Montreal. It does, but also keep in mind this is a Montreal impact coming off a 4-2 loss on the road at LAFC on Saturday night. So one last day of rest and recuperation for Remy Gard's side who has had extreme highs and extreme lows throughout the course of 2019. One week you think they might be the best team in the Eastern Conference. The next week you might think they're the worst team in the Eastern Conference. So. All right, guys, hey, real quick for you warm up. Your job is not just to never to deny here. Once you go, reaction out wide, we get over there, all right? Keep intelligent, keep together, especially in our block. First five minutes in the bathroom, guys, all right? And I'm not saying on the five-minute dot we stop. Okay, we read the play then, we see what's going on. If, we need, if we're doing well, we stay a bit higher. If not, we get back in our shape. All right? Go out and get a good warm-up. So five changes. We knew changes were coming. Everybody knew some changes were coming. Are there one or two that surprise you more than the others? No surprise to see changes. Excited to see what this roster can do. You've been watching the interwebs. Everyone's going to be paying attention to what happens with Joao Plata. But the fact that Plata is in the starting 11 means the deal is not done. So keep an eye on his performance tonight. As well as Justin Portillo. Nine minutes on the road at LAFC. Picks up that red card. It's been a struggle when they go to Montreal. They've done all right against Montreal at home. But conceded 10 goals in those three losses. But each year is a, is a different animal. I'm not one that really buys into this place is a fortress and can't be broken down and Real Salt Lake struggle. They're never going to win on the road. It's going to look different. It's going to feel a little bit different, but it should have the same genetic DNA that we've come to expect in this RSL side. Enjoy, kid. All right. <laughs> Ball into the area, Toya defending in front, off the frame and cleared by Lennon. And a dangerous opening minute for RSL. There's a ball, it's saved by Romando. A second great opportunity for the impact. And Romando able to push that away. We're inviting pressure. We're inviting pressure. Every, even the throw-ins are backwards, backwards. What happened here? What happened? I don't know, I think it's like one minute before. Everton, sure. Everton bees, Everton. Albert Rusnak on his back. What's he saying? He said right ankle sprain, just hang on a sec. He wants to tape his ankle. Albert asked for it. It's right ankle, he wants us to tape it. Oh, can you tape it quick? Uh, yep. Sam! Drop back! Lata to Krylock, and now Rusnak, Albert. Savarino, Savarino didn't get all of that, and Evan Bush covers up. Yeah, you can see how frustrated Jefferson is because it just got caught on the inside of his right foot when he went to strike it cleanly. Where are we at? 25 seconds. Stop it, Albert! Come on, Plata! Come on, Plata! Here's a ball in the air, and a shot, and Nick Romano is beaten! Omar Brown has had his opportunities, and here, right at the end of stoppage time, he converts. We have no bite. We have no bite defensively. We have no bite offensively. We have a little bit of possession. Essentially, there's no threat behind. Sam, how many times did you touch the ball? Very few, all right? And I've seen him making runs. Where's, where's Joel? Joel, don't come back at the ball. Stay higher. Get behind. We need to make runs behind, OK? And remember what we talked. Now it's got to change a little bit. But defensively, we talked about letting their center backs have it. 10 seconds left in the half, we step out wrong to the center back who plays out wide, okay? And how many times have we getting kicked? Joao, Sava, Sam, you have to pop into something once we're unbalancing them. Look to play behind them. On the ground, preferably. I'm not talking about 50-yard balls in the air. On the ground, look to slip them behind. Come on, boys. Come on. Savarino scored in the last two matches. Bofo has scored in the last two matches. Savarino getting the start tonight. Bofo did not. Corey Baird available off the bench. So some attacking options for Mike Pecky if he chooses. Let's see what he does here as the second 45 gets underway. RSL in the all-whites, moving right to left here in the second half. Bofo. Um, 
good chance around the 60th you might be going in, all right? So start, maybe start moving a little bit. Dayton Glad near the penalty spot. Plot to sends it towards Sam Johnson, headed down. Severino. Severino! Sam Johnson, yes! Sam Johnson heads it in in the 48th minute. He is off. The flag is up. Here's Brown. He scored right before the half. Into the area, Donnie Toya. Was there a little tug? Is he going to point to the spot? Sagna to ground. Is that a penalty? The crowd celebrating. Fotos Pazakos pointing to the spot and the impact. They're going to have a chance here to double their advantage. Tadir converted his first PK of the year, and he converts his second, sending Nick Romano the wrong way. And it's 2 0 Montreal, and the impact firmly in charge now in the 68th minute. Lotta's night is done. Bofo on, but now it's a huge hill to climb for RSL. We, we let them, you know, we, we worked on something specific all week. And the first goal comes from uh, us not executing that when we executed the first 40, 46 minutes and 50 seconds with 10 seconds left. Um, it was a poor PK to give up in the second half. Uh, we fought back, of course, you know, when you're down, you always push it and teams always sit back. So we had a lot of the ball, we had looks at goal, an offside goal, questionable PK with Dami, um, a good goal. And then, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't enough. Uh, we weren't aggressive enough to start the game, both in defense and attacking. It's not just on the front guys to run behind, you know, run, they'll run behind when the ball's being played. You know, and a lot of times we played negative balls tonight. A lot of times we weren't as daring with the ball as we have been the last three games. Albert came off uh, a bit injured. We'll see what his status is. Um, obviously some tired guys um, from the Friday game um, putting in the shift tonight. So uh, we'll have to really think closely about who's on the field Saturday and, and how we're going to approach this game. It'll be, uh, it'll be right back to work right after this with, with the coaches and, and, and figure out uh, how we're going to approach the Red Bull game.